Uh, okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Christopher. I'm going to be the event supervisor for the Crime Busters event here. Uh, Crime Busters is uh, six main portions in the seventh will be identifying the, the suspect. Uh, the first portion is by far the most heavily weighted is powder identification. Then we'll move into chromatography, where they'll ask you to identify some pen types. Uh, and then it'll go into prints. So it'll be like either like handprints, footprints, or shoe prints, and then some kind of tire print. And then it'll be some mystery piece of, uh, mystery piece of evidence we'll have to analyze. And then it'll finally will be to implicate the suspect. Uh, so back to the powder section. Uh, they'll be given 15 grams worth of powder inside a little like 1.5 ounce cup. And they'll be asked to analyze that using water, iodine, or vinegar to run through that test. Um, there'll be, you can see here, there are 10 powder portions. They're here on this front page. Towards the bottom, you'll notice Alka-Seltzer, Alka baking soda, and or calcium carbonate. That combination will not exist on the test because of how similar those substances look. Same with cornstarch and flour. That combination will not exist on the test. Hi, come on in. Uh, feel free to grab a sheet right here. Um, and then the second portion, chromatography. Um, I, will, I will present them a chromatography uh, kit or test that will already have the lines on there. So they'll have to set up the test and then implicate the suspect on, on that test. Um, part of the points will be awarded to correct setup. Part of the, correct, part of the points will be correct implication of the, the right suspect. Hi, come on in. Uh, feel free to grab one of these sheets up here. Um, and then uh, they'll be asked to go through some prints. Um, I would recommend that you practice definitely the print section. They won't be asked to identify like loop or swirl, like types of fingerprints, but it might be beneficial to run through that with your kids so they can easily, you know, like knock out, you know, suspects if they don't, if they don't even match the right type of fingerprint. Uh, and then the, the final one, the unspecified piece of evidence, they will be given the evidence and they can figure it out given the clues on the test. They won't have to, you know, it, they won't, it won't require any prerequisite knowledge coming into it. Uh, so then I wanted to have most of the section to be for questions because I feel like that's typically the, the hard part. So any questions while I'm here? Sure. So they have 15 grams of powder, is that all or can they get more? No, 15 grams of powder is, is all they're given, which is, is plenty. And they have plenty of liquid. They, they should not be running out of anything like that. Uh, they'll be given the powders in a little cup, and they'll have a little spoon with it and little pieces of black paper. The black paper is so that the students can scoop out the powder and put on the black paper to identify it. But if they're dropping the iodine solution or vinegar solution into the powder, uh, teach them to put it inside the cup so I don't have a huge mess of iodine solution all over the table. So, any other questions? So they'll be given 30 minutes total to complete the test. Five minutes will be to run through the rules, and then 25 minutes to actually complete the experiment. I won't say, OK, everybody, you should be finished with section one now. I won't tell them that. They can go in any order on the test. They can complete any section. They just have 25 minutes to complete the entire test. Uh, along with that, I want to go over the rules real quick. Um, make sure that they are coming in with wraparound goggles. They have to fit over their entire face. Make sure if they have glasses, it fits over their glasses. Has to wrap around on the sides. Uh, if they do not come with that, they won't be allowed into the room. Uh, no sniffing, smelling, tasting the powders. Instant kick out of the, you know, that's unsafe. Can't be having that. Uh, make sure they bring, I think they have to have a pencil as well. So make sure they come with that. Any other questions? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, at For Sale, there are these kits here. Uh, I recommend picking up some of the kits. You can, of course, find all of these powders on Amazon or, or Walmart or whatever, but you'll get way too much quantities of what you actually need to perform the test. So just, just too much powder. So you can buy, there are uh, the, the main kits that come with like the fingerprint pads and a magnifying glass and some other tools that we we'll use. The other one just has just some powder refills. Sure. I am not sure if they're only available today. You might, you may be able to pick them up during the districts. This is just like where you're keeping the event, somebody else did. Mm -hmm. So if they already have those materials, I don't want to rebuy them. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm not sure about the availability of the kits. So I have to, have to. Add. Okay. Um, it's up to you. If you have the powders to test with the kids, then you don't need to pick Maybe up a refill kit. The main kit. Is there enough in that? Or? Yes, the main kit, you should have plenty of powder in there. Uh, like 15 grams of powder is not very much, you know, so. But, and, yeah, there should, there should be still enough in there. But, yeah, but if you run out of powders, you know, like I said, they're Walmart, Amazon, you know, Home Depot, whatever, should be able to fill it out. Um, one of the previous groups has suggested uh, Home Depot is a great place to buy those wraparound Glasses like that, Harbor Freight will have them. Walmart probably has wrapper on ones. Um, so the test, is it going to be at like a scantron or is it 
So for the test actual grading, some portions will be on Scantron, some portion will be written response. So the powder identification will be written response, but then they'll implicate the suspects A through E on the Scantron. And so that will be that. And then, so th then um, in the unspecified evidence, there is a written response question kind of at the end. It'll be kind of an open-ended question, and I'll use that to break any ties. But there's like overall, like I think there's like 100 points worth of value in there, so it's really easy to break it down. And so I don't expect to see many ties, but I will use the written response for tiebreakers. Uh, I think it's 100, I think. If you, if you go on the Science Olympiad site and Crime Busters uh, category, and then there's an FAQ section, at the very bottom of the FAQs, there is a section on point value breakdown. And we'll have you know, uh, powder identification, correct suspect implication, chromatography setup, chromatography suspect identification, you know, so those will be how the point values are broken down. Yes? On the um, Crime Busters page, mm -hmm. they show a Scantron and the way that it was filled in. Is that accurate for how it will be done this year? Yes. Do you give like a five minute warning? Now? Yeah, yeah, I'll give a 20-minute warning, 15-minute, 10-minute, 5-minute, so the kids will have plenty, uh, plenty of notice ahead of time. I found that most of the kids will finish ahead of the 25-minute time. Of course, some groups will run right up until the, until the last minute. So. Kids are in there by themselves? Kids are in there by themselves, no coaches. Hello, uh, feel free to grab one of these sheets up here in the front, too. Uh, any other questions? Yes? For the unspecified evidence, are there any hints you can give us? Nope. <laughs> Good try. No hints for unspecified evidence. Uh, this question over here. No? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Was it? Is that a yes, sir? There are. Yes. Let me check. Yes. Yes. Actually, I'm not sure about that one. Let me let me double check on the handwritten or type notes, and then I'll I'll post the answer on the FAQ section on that one. Yes, apparently. Yes. I I'm sure that will be okay, but I will po I'll post another question on the FAQ about that one as well. Yep. Yep. Sure. Any magnifying glass will work as long as it is one piece and does not need to be plugged in. So, <laughs> any other questions? Are, uh, magnifying glass for that? Yeah, in the in the main kit, yes. I'm pretty sure there was some question about whether it would show up from Hong Kong in time or not for today, but I think it, I think it did. Well, I was wondering, so. like, at like the tournament. Oh, at the tournament, no. If they uh, are, they will need to bring. Well, one? Uh, I will I will double check and I'll post that question on the FAQ as well. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Could, would, would you be able to tell us uh, unspecified evidence from a previous tournament? For yeah, an example of unspecified evidence. Yeah. I think on the Crime Buster site in one of the FAQs there's like a uh, one of them was like a, a DNA analysis I think was part of it. Um, I can't give away too much more about what unspecified evidence will be, but it won't be anything that is beyond the kids. They should be able to figure it out. So, uh, and then the crime scene will be PG, so it won't be anything like blood splatter murder scene. Don't expect that. It won't be anything like that. Um, uh, any any other questions? We have plenty of time. Yes. Uh, so when the kids walk into the room, I'll go, briefly go over the rules, like, you know, don't eat any of the powders, don't do anything silly, do not, don't take off your glasses. Uh, and I kind of briefly run through what they should expect, like the powder section, there'll be a print section, unspecified evidence, uh, and then they'll just can be kind of set free to perform the test. So. Yes? No, don't, I, I have plenty of volunteers to help with that portion, so. Anything else? Yes. No, no. They'll, they'll be sitting at one station, and I'll have a tray with all the, the powders and the chromatography oh, test and that. Have yep, they'll have everything to sit right, right in front of them. Yes. This may be for you, but also for others. Um, do you have any suggestions on how to change what practices look like from the beginning towards the event? 
That is a great question. Does anybody else have any, any answers for that one to, to suggest? That's a great, yeah, slowly increase the complexity. Yeah. Start with one powders in the testing, and then two powders, and then three powders as they get more advanced and more comfortable with the materials and the, the liquid and everything. So uh, during the test, uh, the, yeah, the powders, they'll be in a, you know, 15 grams in a little cup with a little spoon. They'll have plenty of powder and plenty of liquid to perform all the tests. Uh, they will not be given more powder. If they run out, that's all they're given, but it should be plenty for, for them to do that. Yes? Are they given cups then? Yeah, yeah, they'll have several little cups and, and they'll have everything they need to, to perform the tests. So. Yes, yes, please teach them to use the cup if they're mixing it with liquid. They will just make a mess all over the place if that's the case. So. Any other questions? Okay, uh, I would definitely recommend you all take a peek on the uh, Science Olympiad page for Crime Busters. There's a YouTube video on chromatography. I find it very helpful just to, just to watch the video to get a little bit more idea what to expect. Uh, feel free to read over all the FAQ questions. I think there are a lot of good questions in there, a lot of good answers. Uh, so I should answer a lot of that. So, and then feel free to use the, there's like a, um, a question where you can submit questions through the Science Olympiad site. I definitely recommend if you have any questions to submit there through that venue and then I'll post a response back later on that through the site. Okay, well, uh, you're welcome to stay, and if you have any other any last-minute questions, but that's I guess that's it. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. <laughs>